go Once again I'm back around uh, Real shit back in style uh, Haters reconcile uh, I'm so black and proud First class tickets now uh, Feet all in the eye uh, Everybody looking down Everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up, I'm putting it down, you picking it up Checking the models, they want us to go to college just so we can be stuck Go to school to make a living, or teach yourself to make a fortune Common sense, welcome to the apocalypse, bitch I'm one of the horsemen I don't need your endorsement, I don't need reinforcement Giving you your last warning, cause I'm at my prime What's going on guys? Marijn here and welcome to a new episode of My Shredded Lifestyle. We are currently in South Africa and it is day number three. Uh, the last two days I haven't been able to weigh myself because we didn't have a skill here, right? Um, but we made sure that now we got a skill so that I can weigh myself every single morning because I think it is very, very important to always track your progress, right? And to make sure you are working towards your goal and the goal that I've set for myself. Uh, the first goal right now is to hit 80 kilos and see what I look like at that body weight. So today I was at 83 kilos, which is my lowest weigh in so far and it's currently day number 31. Because as I said earlier, in a series I want to be really real with you guys and really take you through my journey as to show you my physique with a bump different lightings different circumstances and the morning while fasted etc so that you can really get an idea of you know the progress so this is what I currently look like fasted in the morning 83 kilos I'm at my I'm at my prime said I'm at my prime we at our prime So yeah guys, that is the current physique, currently one month into my diet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'm super excited to get even more shredded than this. Uh, the African sun, by the way, also definitely helps with the lighting here. And it even like burned me like pretty crazy yesterday. Hey. Happens, man. Anyway, let's get the day rolling. We are in one of the nature reserves right now in Pretoria. You guys ready to see some wild animals? So it's only day number three here and I'm already so satisfied with what we've seen because the thing I was mainly mostly excited for uh, that we we're gonna do during this trip was see the wildlife. And you know, seeing these zebras from up so close, like literally standing next to them, uh, that's an absolutely amazing thing, man. Um, also note to myself, I should be in nature more often. Absolutely love just walking around here, uh, not just the animals, but also just the nature. The trees just like having a cool, chill vibe. There is like no one here, so it's absolutely awesome. Don't be shy, buddy. 
No, he's hiding a little bit. It's his defense mechanism. He can't do anything else. You okay, bro? <laughs> he's chilling, man. He's it's rest chilling. day. He's feed day. He's really low key chilling, though. Low key chilling. <laughs> Keep your head up, boy. Keep your head up. So by now it's about two o'clock, and we're gonna have some food. I think we're all starving. Yeah, we'll get some rice and chicken. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, that. I can just hear it, man. Yeah, that. I, I didn't even see it yet. This is really voice, Jim. The, oh, the sizzling sound. Shit. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. That is amazing. Thank you. Whoa, that is that is more than I expected, man. And we still have some rice for this as well. Good way to break a friggin' fast. What a life. What a life. The muscle man. So good, man. Last meal was yesterday, nine in the evening. So it's been a long fast. So the way I track this meal was I go to my fitness pal, I typed in a black pepper beef, and then I kind of search for one that has you know, plenty of mostly protein, also a little bit of fats, um, decent amount of fats, not from the beef itself, but from the oil that is added. What you also can do is just click a beef that is super lean and then add the oil separately. That's something I do sometimes as well. This one just seemed to make sense. And then I added some rice as well. The rice I estimated it to be a little bit higher than it was, 120 grams. It was probably about 100 grams just to be in a safe spot. I'd rather like overestimate than underestimate uh, because I'm cutting body fat, right? If you're bulking, you may want to do the opposite. And that is, you know, to type in uh, less rice than it actually was because, you know, you want to make sure you don't under eat. So the macros that I estimated this to be is 115 grams of carbs, 25 grams of fat, and then 48 grams of protein. And I think that makes sense. I can kind of estimate the calories these days by feeling how full I am, right? Um, it's not the greatest thing to go by because sometimes a meal is way more fulfilling than another one because it has more veggies or one has more you know, sugar, so it makes you more hungry, etc. There's different things. So it's better to just estimate the food by kind of looking at it and by having experience. So left you guys there after our first meal. Afterwards, we did some work. I had some more food and right now we're in the gym. It is evening and me and Wyra are gonna hit a bro workout together. Upper body, let's freaking go. Hold up, homie, let's wait a minute. Lately, y'all ain't even pay no visits. I can still hear the hated critics saying he ain't gonna make it, is he? Lately, I developed laser vision. Yeah, I burn through people in their cruel intentions. Crazy, you trying to play me? Boy, you wouldn't even make the scrimmage. Get your ass up and pass up your limits. Got these new rappers looking vintage. All I really do is eat spinach, count money up and hang with pretty women. I was driven, yeah, had the vision. Then Goon came along and made a vivid. Haters living cause we really living. I'm a freight train, you a Honda Civic. Hold up, wait, let me get specific. If you pick a mission and you stay committed, stop transitioning. And you really listen, you'll see that big collision, just a big transition When it all goes down, I'm gonna run this town I in my soul, got my eyes on the ground I can't help myself, really can't turn myself down I'm in love with you, baby, but I let you down I can't die in this town, I won't die in this town So sick workout there and big shout out to Wyro because he's actually freaking shredded, right? I have to keep up with him, man, which is a good thing. Thanks, we're, man. We're a freaking dream team, man. We make sick <laughs> vlogs and we can hit the gym together, man. That, that's that's the real shit right there. Oh, wow. Anyway, so we just ordered some food. Is it good? Yeah, this is like sweet mashed potatoes, Ooh. spinach, yeah, that looks pretty cream, good, man. and this is like cabbage. It's really nice. So we ordered uh, Uber Eats, you know, just from a steakhouse. Got 200 grams of sirloin steak here, uh, baked potato, and then we ordered some vegetables on the side. And that's a freaking solid portion, right? So that's good. Uh, Wyro has something else. Open it. He has some lamb. Some lamb. They got a lot this of calories to go. Whoa, man. Ooh. Wow. That smells hella good. Oh, it's nice. You uh, taste the grill. You taste the grill. It's been a good day. We got a lot of stuff done. And um, so now we're basically going to feast for the rest of the night, right? So we're going to eat this. Then we're going to eat some more. We're going to dig into some of this nice cereal that we have here, etc. Right? Just like, kind of like yesterday, we saved a lot of calories. And then um, tomorrow, we actually have to get up very freaking early. I think like, what, 5.30? 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5
We leave at 5.30. We, we leave at 5.30. So we'll see you guys then. Today is kind of like a travel day. Uh, we're in the car for a pretty freaking long. Uh, we woke up at five this morning, right now it is 10, and um, we have about four hours left to drive. But there's not gonna be any stops uh, from now on, so I decided I'm gonna break my fast a bit early today. And um, I know some of you guys might not you know, wanna do intermittent fasting either. It's not something that everybody has to do or wants to do or likes to do. So um, instead, what I recommend as well for people that wanna you know, shred down is to, if you decide to have breakfast, only have protein and fats and like leave the carbs because then you can save those carbs for later on the day. And that really helps uh, with hunger control as well. So that makes it way more easy to shred because fats and protein together combined, they really, really fill you up and they make you very satiated. So, um... so as you can see, they have a lot of nice food here. As you can see how it's displayed as well. As I said, I just wanna have proteins and fats. So what I'm gonna do is create my own omelet, which is always you know, a good way to do, uh, because then I'll just have like three whole eggs, maybe two egg whites, and then I'll have some of these veggies because those help with filling me up as well. Uh, plus some extra beef strips for more protein. So then it's a good combination of proteins and fats. So? Mm. Yeah. With the cheddar. And the cheddar, yeah. It's a nice shot. Okay. Yeah. Like closer to people more? Hey, stop it, stop it. Oh my God, stop what it. is this? Stop, stop. You have cheese in there or no, what? stop Myron, stop Myron. You have cheese in there. May you are, No, you're Myron so May hard I? right now. May Oh, look at the miring, the miring eyes. Oh, oh, oh that melted. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 yeah. So I ended up going for two whole eggs and two egg whites um, because we're saving some fats to have guacamole, separate avocado as well. Um, we have some beef strips here for extra protein and we actually asked the waitress here um, how many grams it is, right? So that's a great tip for you guys as well if you're not sure. But she actually went down to the kitchen to ask and it was 100 grams. So it's always good to ask. That's the meal. Let's enjoy. So if a restaurant that you're eating does not have the macros available online, you simply enter the food that is kind of similar to that particular restaurant. So in the app, I simply put in like two egg whites, two whole eggs, the ones that I normally eat at home. But then I also added in one tablespoon of olive oil because I'm sure that they cook the eggs here in olive oil, right? Instead of pepper spray, which I do at home. So that adds some extra fats that you definitely don't want to miss out on because otherwise you don't track it correctly. Um, so same goes for the beef strips. And so in total, the macros that I estimated are 16 grams of carbs, 38 grams of fat and 48 grams of protein for this particular meal. So guys, we just arrived. It is late at night. The travel took very, very long, but it was all worth it because we are at an absolutely insane place. You want to quickly explain where we are? Uh, so we're on the south coast of KwaZulu Natal, a little place called Munster, just after Port Shepston, at the faraway tree villa. And you can literally hear the sound of the water from here. First, what we're gonna do is have a nice freaking meal. And we're cooking this meal in the middle of the jungle. These are what us as South Africans call braai brookies. <laughs> Pretty much like a toasted sandwich, All right. but with cheese, tomato, red onion, and a thing we in South Africa chutney called sauce. chutney. All right, yeah. it's almost done. It's like two more minutes. All so. right. Hi guys, so we gotta do a taste test. So uh, what was it called now? Brai bruiki. Ah, this one. Brai bruiki. Brai bruiki. Brai bruiki. Try it out. Mm. Whoa. We eat like tosties in the Netherlands, but that's like only cheese and ham. This mm. is like a this is like a premium version. It's the best tosti I've ever had. Oh, wow, yeah. 
I always say that on the vlog. <laughs> when every food I say, this is the best food I ever had in my life. <laughs> I now I mean it. This was the best OC I had in my life. I think it's time to bulk again. All right. Um, it's very barbecue-y. That's nice. The steak has a nice taste from the, from the grill, you know? So we have the toasty as a carb source. Next to that, we have this massive steak, big piece, and lamb chops as well. And then we also have a salad over here. So that was an amazing meal. And right now we are going to celebrate with some champagne. The reason being is that yesterday I hit 250,000 subscribers on YouTube. And uh, that is actually pretty crazy when you think about it because it is a quarter million people as virus said. And what? when you say it like that, that sounds pretty damn sick, man. A quarter million sick. freaking people. Yeah, so um, think, I th think about it. Think about it. Like at it a big, a lot. At, at a big concert, there's like five thousand people. Let's yeah. say five thousand, or maybe three thousand, maybe ten thousand people, Man. and there's two hundred fifty thousand people. That's think actually about imagine it. putting all those people in like one place. Yeah, imagine putting all these people in one place. It's actually unreal. Like, how the fuck did I do this? Yeah, you're gonna put put them in all all in one place. Yeah, no, you have them. It would have been bigger place. than the city that I live in. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, that's actually yeah. Sick. yeah that's bigger. Than the amount of people that, that that are subscribed to me is is more people that live in the city that I live in in total. That is actually sick is right there so i want to thank you guys massively i know that actually my subs haven't been growing that much of lately you know i, I don't think when i hit 100 subs it was like maybe like two years ago um it hasn't been going that fast but guys i do know that even though i don't have the most amount of subscribers i mean a quarter million is still a lot of people i may not have the most but i do have what I think very, very loyal subscribers and like I really feel like I have a personal connection with you guys. Uh, when I meet you guys in real life, it's always like, it's always just really, really cool and I always have a good time and I feel like, you know, that really comes across on my channel. Um, it may not be the most amount of people, um, but the people that watch me actually give a fuck about me, which I think is pretty damn sick. So I want to really, really thank you guys for all the support over the years. Um, you guys are actually a big part of my life. Believe it or not, you know, I upload multiple times on YouTube for the last few years. It is almost i would say like the biggest part of my life the biggest thing i'm always busy with so um thank you guys for sticking with me through this journey over the years through my personal journey as well business wise personal wise i share everything that's on my mind and share with you guys and i always uh you know get you guys to support and that's just something that really really helps me i go through life as well with that said again thank you guys so much we are going to celebrate we're going to dig into some champagne and then tomorrow we're actually gonna also, you know, give you guys a house tour and everything because we are in a new place and it's absolutely sick. That's the journey sick. to take it is really it's sick, right? Sick, place. yeah, it's unreal, man. So um, as tomorrow we're actually gonna do some really cool shit next to you know showing you guys this place. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel so I can even get more than a quarter million subs. Please help me out. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hold up, homie, last wait a minute. Lately, y'all ain't even pay no visits. I can still hear the hated critics saying he ain't gon' make it, is he? Lately, I developed laser vision. Yeah, I burn through people in their cruel intentions. Crazy, you tryna play me? Boy, you wouldn't even make the scrimmage. Get your ass.